Build that up. Especially tonight and tomorrow as we take a live look right now at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam. We've cleared out nicely from the snowy weather we've been dealing with since around Christmas. But of course, with the clearing of the clouds and that cold air coming in from the north, it is mighty chilly out there. And it's going to be again really cold here for tonight through tomorrow morning with some nasty wind chills. We're already down to a minus five at the Driggs Airport. We're at two in Jackson, five in Idaho Falls with six currently at the Pocatello Airport. And we have 10 in Salmon with 10 towards Twin Falls falls and a two below right now in Ketchum. These are the wind chills and I want to show you that we have winds right now at about five to ten miles per hour and just a little bit of wind out there starts knocking down on those wind chill values. So it feels like 13 below zero currently for Driggs, Jackson and Dubois with the wind chill right now in Idaho Falls and Pocatello at six below zero. Around on Viper, it is a dry outlook for this evening. We are seeing some snow to the north of us and there's hints of some clouds here getting into areas uh, near the uh, Montana state line tonight and there's also a little bit of a flood advisory for parts of Bozeman and Gallatin County but uh, what we have here locally dry conditions for the most part will get a few flakes in there for this evening but the big story is still the chilly air oh, the wind chill warning has been issued by the National Weather, Weather Service through tonight and tomorrow morning with wind chills as cold as 20 to 30 below zero and in frostbite can set in within 20 to 30 minutes on exposed skin so that wind chill warning with us here for Sunday early in the morning one area of low pressure to our east continuing to move further to the east. High pressure trying to nudge in here from California and that's going to warm us up slightly for Sunday afternoon, but it's quickly replaced with another system coming out of here from the northwest. That system out of the northwest will start to dig in. It's actually going to move the jet stream a little further to the south and we're going to tap in to some slightly warmer air for this week. We'll expect to see rain and snow working into the region. Yes, and I did say rain because we will warm up enough that we will see highs into the 30s and 40s, especially getting into Wednesday and Thursday for this approaching work week. We'll see scattered snow and rain showers for the week, and that could push us all the way into next weekend. For tonight on the Viper, we got some clouds trying to seep back in. We could get a few flurries out there, and it's obviously going to be really cold out there tonight through tomorrow morning. A few clouds in the morning through midday, but generally we're going to pull in some sun sunshine for your Sunday before the clouds start rolling in Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon and evening, the snow gets back and gets back into central and western Idaho. We'll have wet weather concerns that air in areas of Lemhi and Custer and Blaine County with snow pushing into central Idaho Monday night and then for the rest of us getting in here for Tuesday. Uh, temperatures tonight below zero. Obviously, we've been talking about that six below for Preston night, nine below Montpelier, five below tonight in Lava with highs into the 20s tomorrow. We'll be at eight below for Rexburg nine below tonight in St. Anthony with highs into the upper teens. Jackson's at a minus seven tonight with 12 for the high tomorrow, and we should be down to a minus 10 in Driggs with temperatures in central Idaho at about zero to minus five tonight for salmon and chalice. We're at 11 below zero in Arco with a high of 11 tomorrow afternoon and 17 for the high in Idaho Falls. That's after we hit a low of seven below zero, one below zero tonight in Pocatello with a high of 24. Take a look at that eight day forecast. You'll notice the temperatures are going to start getting back into those 30s as we head into this week here with numbers going even a little bit above freezing at times with scattered snow on the move for the mountains. We'll see a rain snow mix in the lower elevations. Salmon high of 22 for tomorrow back into the upper 30s by Monday. Low to mid 30s as we get to the rest of that forecast period for Tuesday, Wednesday with even some 40s trying to get in there by Friday. Rexburg a high of 24 for Monday, the upper 20s on Tuesday. Snow in the forecast Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with highs in the low to mid 30s. Black, but you're hitting a 19 tomorrow for the high. Still into the teens, but at least it'll be a few degrees warmer tomorrow. Back into the upper 20s, lower 30s by Monday and Tuesday, with temperatures warming closer towards 40 by Wednesday. Pocatello, high of 30 for Monday, 34 for Tuesday. Got some wet weather here passing through the region with a rain snow mix, especially Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with temperatures getting into the lower 40s by Friday. Idaho Falls, some sunshine in there for Monday, some patchy freezing fog tonight. Highs around 17 tomorrow afternoon, back into the 20s on Monday, 30s to get us in there for the I would say the later part of the week there with some scattered snow and rain moving through the region. Well, at least it's not. We don't have to worry about the roads as much tonight. Yeah, I think <laughs> with the sun hitting the roads, it's been nice. We can actually start to see some pavement again, right, even though it's right. been so cold outside. Yeah. That sun really does help out a lot. Yeah. And then with the warmer temperatures pushing in for next week, we can actually maybe get a better handle on some of the roads right, with the snow. Right. <laughs> if we can live through those minus temperatures. Right. Thank you so much, Michael. All right. Well, we may not be getting our favorite dog days of winter this year.